Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll stick my hands on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax, I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit, you stupid much, lay down! Come on, come on in. Slowly now, let's they bite you. So who might you be? The Stiff's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenford, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze, and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. You know they had folk give bleeding orphans in the street a white berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. Well, they care about some dwarf. Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? was Fabian who threatened this one last. Well, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, it is all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag, and other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Fine, we've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Blood stains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Hmm, someone dragged something across the floor. Or dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. Stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Hi. Fine. We've talked enough. Won't learn. You're in your kin's humble servant. Aye. Already know what happened. 
Fabian was in the workshop. Murderer attacked him there. They struggled. Fabian was overpowered. Then tortured. For a time. I needn't know the details. Truth be told, I haven't the stomach for him. When it was over, the murderer dragged Fabian to the courtyard. Then made a pyre of sculptures, set them aflame. But... why? Why do all that? To teach a lesson. To him, you, the whole city. Had a look at your sculptures. What? Lifelike, aren't they? Mm-hmm. The women especially. Never seen a bust that size on Melitale. Oh, aye. Fabian's handiwork. I told him, brother, tits like that will crush her back. Whittle them down. He said, nay, they'd sell better this way. Told me to shut me trap. And sell they did. Till one sermon at the temple, when the celebrating reverend said that whoso buys idols from the non-human Myers sins twofold as a heretic and as a lecher. That was the end of that. Fine, we've talked enough. Won't learn anything else here. Take care. Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Ah! Watch it, Tran. That's not your stopping plan. A brazier. This time of year? Human sis. Priscilla's. That him. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. A brazier. This time of year? Man's footprint. The murderer's, maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. Let's end this.
Witcher! Tell me... Oh! Got a problem. Hey, handsome. A brazier. This time of year? Human. Priscilla's. Man's what fitness. Is? The murderers, Daddy. maybe. How am I Wait on his heel. Watch him, see what he does. Took a step back. Think you'll gut me too, huh? Up your ass, Deviant! Holes can fight back! Uh. Calm down, I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome. For Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up pouring, pick up a decent trade, but none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Take care now. And I got a murderer to catch. Oh, my head's ringing. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the ribcage and... What's this? A parchment. Made of human skin. A message from the murderer. The name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her, now. Till next time, Master.
Come on. What do you want? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, I'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery. Understand? Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw Mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is. Just in case. I find this all very hard to believe. But you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane. Except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square. I said not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books in Signia's reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry.
Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Or I'll put a bolt between your eyes. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. It wasn't easy, but. Lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. For it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother, why did he do this to her? Why? <laughs> 